What's going on everybody? Richie here, Hybrid Athletics. Today I'm gonna share with you my daily eating routine that I've been following to go from looking like this to looking like this in less than a month. So follow along, I'm gonna walk you through what I eat, why I eat it, and how it fits into my goals. And then you could take this and adjust it as you see fit for you to help you reach your goals. All right, let's do it. All right, so first things first, I start every single day off with at least 12 ounces of water. Or in my case, I prefer seltzer water. It's just carbonated water. All right, so in addition to starting off my day with the water, I also take all my vitamins. Now, what I've been taking lately, I've been taking glucosamine for joint health, vitamin D because the sun hasn't been out too much, vitamin B complex with vitamin C, and last but not least, fish oil. So, start the day off with my vitamins, some water. I take the uh, vitamin B separately because it's a chewable and it tastes good. After my water and my vitamins, I like to make a cup of coffee or two before I go to the gym. All right, so I got my coffee. Last thing, I get a banana. I'm gonna bring this to the gym with me. I should be done warming up around 11 a.m. My last meal was at 7 p.m. last night. So that would be a 16 hour fast period, which is something that I've been doing lately and I've been seeing really good results doing that. I'm getting leaner and I'm getting stronger at the same time. Seems to be working, so I'm gonna stick with it. All right, I'll see y'all after the gym. Show you what I do post-workout. All right, so I'm at the gym. It's about 11 a.m. right now. It's been 16 hours since my last meal. So I'm about to break my fast. I got my banana. I just like to get a little bit of sugar in my system before the workout. So this is really all I take. Sometimes I drink an energy drink. Right now I'm sipping on a bang. Pina colada is good. So that'll be enough to get me through the workout until my post-workout meal. My calories are gonna differ from your calories, but for an athlete with my stats, which is six feet tall, male, 182 pounds, as a maintenance base of calories, I'm gonna have to consume about 2,700 calories. This is gonna vary from person to person, so your calories might be different than mine. Now, if I wanna lose more weight, I wanna be in a deficit, and I'll try to take in about 2,200 calories. So. I'm gonna eat this banana, and then I'm gonna track it. I've been using My Fitness Pal lately. It's free in the App Store. You download it, adjust everything according to your own preferences. You set your own goals, enter it. It tracks everything you eat, and then it tracks your macros on top of that. So there it is, that's my first calories of the day. Time to get this workout in. Alright, so just got back from my workout. Immediately after my workout, I like to have my post-workout smoothie. It's all these things you see here. So we got whey protein, some old-fashioned oats, unsweetened original almond milk, Wico's triple zero yogurt, some crunchy peanut butter, and blueberries. So I'm gonna mix it all up, drink it in a smoothie, and show you how the macros break down. Eight ounces almond milk, two scoops of protein powder, half cup of blueberries, half cup of oats, half cup of yogurt, scoop of peanut butter. Mix it all up. Voila. So that's my post-workout smoothie. Cheers. The smoothie will hold me over for a little bit replenish my glycogen stores, get that protein in. Then I'm gonna get ready to have my second meal here in just a little bit. So for my second meal of the day, it's usually just a big salad. I got baby kale spinach mix, about a pound of chicken, half that I'm gonna eat with the salad, half that I'm gonna eat later. Some grapeseed oil, sea salt, onions. Sometimes I throw in mushrooms, tomatoes, uh, carrots. And it just depends what I have on hand at the, at the time. So now I'm gonna grill up this chicken, make the salad, save half the chicken for later on. 
So we do a tablespoon of the grapeseed oil, pound of the chicken, sea salt, make it tender. Once all the moisture is gone, it's done, we'll take that, throw it in with the three cups of kale and spinach, throw in some onions, and then hit it with a little light Caesar. So this is meal number two, big old salad. So my total caloric intake for the day is 905, and I still have 1600 remaining. Usually I add more veggies, just don't have anything else on hand, so it's spinach, kale, onion, chicken, light Caesar dressing. And plus I'm still pretty full from that smoothie I ate earlier, so this is gonna be good for me for a while. All right, so for my third meal, I'm gonna make a potato in the skillet, some onion, and win the rest of that chicken that I made earlier. Gotta hit my carbs for today. All right, so that's the barbecue chicken, potato, onion, the sweet baby rays, and I still got 1,200 remaining. All right, so honestly, I'm pretty full right now, but still got one last meal snack of the day, and it's another shake. It's gonna be pretty similar to the one I made earlier in my post-workout. Uh, the only difference is, instead of blueberries, I'm gonna have another banana. This shake will pretty much hold me over for the next 16 hours until tomorrow. All right, so y'all know the drill now. Almond milk, oats, yogurt, protein, banana. Mix it all up, take it down. Okay, so like I just said into the camera for the last two minutes while it wasn't recording, this smoothie is 500 calories. What I didn't record on camera were the two mini pretzel dog bites that I ate from Auntie Anne's, my girlfriend got at the mall. I took them off of her hands so that it wouldn't completely destroy her day of eating. Plus, it fit into the calories that I had left over. So including those and the shot of Tito's that I'm going to do before I go to sleep, my total day of eating comes out to 2,087 calories. I have 513 remaining from my 2,600 calorie goal, but I'm so full that I'm not gonna push it. I feel good, I feel nourished, I feel like I got enough today to maintain my muscle mass and still lose fat. So, after this shake, I'm gonna call it a night and I won't eat again for another 16 hours. So tomorrow, I'll weigh in on an empty stomach then I will see the results of today's eating, and from there, I can adjust my calories once again, if needed. Cheers. Oh, so good. All right, I'll check in with you tomorrow and let you know the results of today's day of eating. So there's the results. My scale tracks how much you lost from the previous day. And as you can see, I'm down a fifth of a pound in one day. So that would put me on track to lose about a pound every single week. So that's it, the full day of eating. A pretty good sample of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. It's nothing crazy. It's not even the most restrictive as far as what I eat. As long as I'm hitting my macro goals, I pretty much can eat whatever I want. So for me, as far as my macro goals, I try to get a gram to 1.2 grams of protein per body weight pound. For someone at my body weight, 181 pounds now, I try to get at least 180 grams of protein. I also try to get 180 grams of carbs on a training day as a minimum. And then the rest of my calories will come from fats. And that's really it. This is the way I do it. It works for me. I'm not saying it's the best way, I'm not saying it's the perfect way, but it works for me. It may work for you, it may not work for you, it may work better for you. That's up to you to figure out for yourself. I think a good place to start would be to get 35% of your calories from carbs, 35% 
of your calories from protein and the remaining 30% from fats. See how your body responds after a week or so and adjust it accordingly. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead, leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this video with somebody who's trying to lose some fat and keep their muscle or lose fat and gain muscle. Help them out. Be a good friend. Leave some comments in the box below. I want to see what you think about this, what works for you. Let's get a discussion going in the comments box. And until next time, this is Richie with Hybrid Athletics, training for life.